<laughs> but they're so fast and everything twitchy and yeah, you know, it, it, it's, it's twitchy. <laughs> I want you to put your hands together. There goes to the neighborhood. And welcome to the stage. Big round of applause. There goes to the neighborhood. All right, guys, welcome back to episode 39 of the Smokescreen Podcast. I'm your co host. <laughs> Fuck, we didn't, we didn't plan out the right co host. No. Um, anyway, we figured, uh, you guys asked for it last week. We played never have I ever just for a little fun. And a lot of you guys, we had mentioned it in the, in the podcast and a lot of people in the comments said, yes, please do Southernisms yes. or Southern speak or whatever. So that's what we're going to talk about. Yes, we are. We're going to talk about, I don't know, not, not how to speak Southern, but Southern some of that will come out. Yeah. Yeah. Some of that will come out, but why? And like, what's, what, what's the difference? Why we don't speak and enunciate properly whatever they call properly um how we draw out words but at the same time we shorten them because we're the king of contractions down here in the south so i don't know i think we thought it'd be fun we thought it'd be fun to talk about speaking southern because we saw we've actually had fun talking about getting ready to do this yes yeah yeah (laughs) a lot of fun actually (laughs) um but yeah we saw a couple videos where um actors are trying to teach how to speak Southern, right? For for roles or whatever, right? And, uh, like there's actors classes and stuff about how to speak Southern. We saw a bunch on how to speak British, you know, uh, with a British accent and Australian and stuff like that. So we figured we'd talk about it because we used to get the comments all the time back in the YouTube days. Of it started off for me at least, like all you know, you you obviously can't read. Yeah, I was just saying that you know <laughs> they don't take into consideration that you you know created a whole YouTube channel and <laughs> right. you know all that right. shit, but you can't read. Yeah, that's how they started. So they started that way. It was all like negative. There's always this weird negative connotation with the South and Southerners that they're stupid or whatever. It reminds me of Larry Bird in the NBA, the the hick oh, from French Lick. Yeah, and you have all these people now. Of course, now that everybody's uh, seen what he could do back in the day, being one of the greatest of all time. Um, you know, if you thought Larry Bird was slow or stupid, you, you got your ass whipped on the court. Right. I mean, basically. I mean, all the greats say that about They it. do. So it's just really been, it's always been odd to, to me because we, we never really experienced it here. Obviously, we're all Southern, but when you get like the YouTube thing kind of puts you out across the nation or across the world for that matter. Right. And then you're like exposed to it. Like, uh, how, why, you, why do you talk that way? Yeah, I'll, I'll say one thing too is I see comments... Uh, that'll say, you know, you two country boys, blah, blah, blah. Mm. There's a difference in Southern and country. Yes. You see, they, yes. They, they're not equal. You can be Southern and not be country, and you can be country and not be Southern. Right. Like, so they're cowboys in New York. You know what I mean? Because uh, they have farms and stuff up there and, and uh, oh, yeah. You know, uh, different uh, places. Through the, through the mountain so, Midwest. So, country, that's the first thing I'll say is country and Southern, you know, aren't equal. So yes, exactly. Know, although and, there and, is a lot of country then down have, here, don't get me yeah, wrong. Yeah, and then you have the the redneck versus whatever. Mm-hmm. Like you could have rednecks anywhere. That's just the way it is. Anywhere, and it doesn't matter. All through the Midwest, up north, wherever. Yep, it's just the way it is. But I guess I don't know. I don't know where do we start with the the like. I guess um it, like the the draw or how we speak probably like that or the why draw. probably the draw is because probably a good starting point you made a good point earlier when I said something like we add extra syllables or no we short we're the king of contracts and we shorten everything but at the same time we add extra syllables by drawing it out yeah. it's called the draw the D R A W L we will yeah we'll drag something out but shrink it and contract it at the same time yes, so it is it's it's a it's an a, art form it is an art form <laughs> it's a damn art form. There's some examples right here. I know you had some some shit written. Yeah, down too. yeah, probably be similar. Um, um, yeah, go ahead. Go well, ahead, I was man. just gonna say, like the word, say the color, red. Yes. Yeah. Um, we like I say, if if I'm really being literal about how I say it, it's like red, red, red. Yeah, it's it's, it, it's got a ud in it almost. And, yeah, and it becomes two syllables mm-hmm. in some cases. Then that changes though, depending on how far south you are and all that, because there's so many dialects. We'll get into some of that too, because we're from the same, literally the same place. Yeah. I think the same county. Yeah, yeah. I was born in Cabarrus yeah. and uh, grew up here. And he has a lot of different things than I do. Mm-hmm. And then even in my own family, for example, my cousin Eric, you guys have seen him on this podcast before, he says Burry. 
And I say bury, as yeah. in to bury someone or yeah. something, whatever. And I say bury. And that's in the same family. So that was just that half of the family spoke like that, and the other half did not. And I just I just spent more time on this side, I guess. So I never picked up bury. Yeah, like, uh, so bury is, uh, to bury somebody is B-U-R-Y. Yes. I, it, to me, when I say it, it's the same as saying somebody's name bury. Uh, or exactly. a, a straw berry. A straw berry. Yeah, exactly. It, berry, berry, berry. It's all the same to me. It, right. It's it, it's a trip though, and I I think though I was thinking about that after you said it. Would you not think that maybe our area specifically? I can't speak for everywhere else, but right. we've talked a lot about our cotton meal, and it mm-hmm. drew people from different places here. That is true. So that's how we can grow up. But since our family maybe migrated. From yes. different places, yes, you know, that is that, true. That, uh, the biggest cotton mill in the world at one point, <clears throat> yeah. And so we drew a lot potentially of potentially back somewhere in the day migrated from different places, even here, kind of in the same state, maybe. Uh, no, yeah, because uh, I know that, like, um, like I was talking about, Eric, our that half of my family are originally Georgians. Yeah. So and that's a whole different. Di- there's dialects everywhere, and so many different. So it's not just. So I guess uh, the the idea up north or in Hollywood or whatever is there's this one southern thing, and it's not. It's completely different. It's just like in the north, you have the regular what they call the non-accent, I guess, which everybody has an accent, <laughs> but the regular proper way to speak, I guess, American English, because it obviously is different from British, right? In British yeah. uh, English, but then you have Boston. Yeah, that's, where they have yeah. cars instead of cars, right? <laughs> and nobody—I mean, I guess people make fun of it or whatever. That's fine. I, I think it's funny. I think it's great, though. I think I it's do a, too. a cool thing that you have different dialects in the same country or even the same county, like we're talking about. Yeah, and so, like my daughter, I was saying, like, yeah, this is yep. this is my head. My daughter says this is my head. And yes. So like Ted. It's it's really weird. But I still don't say I'm it. almost <laughs> I'm almost saying head. Yeah, you know? almost two syllables. Hey-ed. It's almost two syllables. This is my head. Head. That's how I say it. It's yeah, a trip. Head. And that's my own daughter. I raised her and she says head. Head. Like I uh, guess somebody from <laughs> Pennsylvania. <laughs> maybe she had a teacher uh, yeah, ma- that, you maybe. Know, that had an accent or something different than ours. But yeah, I mean it was uh what I don't like is it, it you know it being looked down upon and it's, it, now it's historically been looked down upon. And like you mentioned, like you, maybe you have a job interview because we saw, we found this book before we started this online. It was like a, it was like a Google book where you could preview it. And it was just like five or six pages, but it's like how to get rid of your Southern accent. And it's like, why would somebody write a book like that? But you were mentioning maybe you have a job interview or whatever. And that's automatically kind of frowned upon, or at least, there's some kind of um, uh, prejudice there against you know that that dialect or that accent or whatever. Right. Because you're, it's it's looked, I guess historically you're the the dumb hillbilly with no education. Yeah, I, and, I guess. And a lot of, I think they think all of North Carolina is like Mayberry. Um, yeah. Because <laughs> yes. Andy Griffith, yeah. you know, is so famous. Right. Um, now, wait remember, a minute. Speaking of that. Did you ever say when you were a kid, Andy Griffin? Oh yeah, yeah everybody before it became Griffin. Everybody, yes. exactly. And then and then you get older and you start reading and you see the credits and the name yes. of the show come on and you're like, "What's this Griffith shit?" Yeah, <laughs> exactly. We were mentioning that by, like the word chimney. Yes, because when you're uh, when you're a kid here, a lot of people say chimney. Yeah, with an L. Until chimney. you get to school and you start reading all that stuff and you see that word written down, you're going, "Oh, it's chimney." Yeah. So there's some things that people just don't know, and you don't know what you don't know and until you know it. Yeah, I, I remember <laughs> learning about Santa Claus. He came down the chimney. Yeah, you know. Yeah, he sure did. And then so, I got to school and was like, "Ooh," because that's one of those words I distinctly remember. I never, I don't th- like I said, I don't think I ever said chimney. <clears throat> I mean, maybe I did when I was really young, but I remember distinctly reading that word, going, "Oh, it's chimney." Yep. You know. So anyway. Um, so there's some examples here. I don't know if you what you got over there. You said head. Yeah, I said the, the head because red. instead of head, I, I guess there's just like a shorter version, but it's almost like two syllables. Yeah, and then of course that goes for red. And, and I and we we were talking, and I wrote down again. Yes. And I've never said again, again, or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, again, again, but yeah. we say again. Yeah. Which is U G G I N. Yeah. Are you saying 
are you doing that same shit again yeah. tonight? <laughs> again. Again. Yeah. Right. And we told ourselves, we're not going to drag this out. We're not going to like really overdo it. And yeah, yeah, and yeah. yeah. Th- we're going to try to tell you guys yeah. exactly. Like when I did the Game of Thrones videos, making when you know, Game of Thrones was rednecks, that's overdoing it. Yes, exactly. Oh, hell, look afar. Keep my damn feet warm. Now, that's not, that's an exaggeration the way I speak. But, but there's people who do. really speak like that. So yeah. that's not an exaggeration. In that's that how sense. you learned it. That's and it came I, so easily. Exactly. Yeah. Because fire becomes far. Right. Tire becomes tar. Yes. So the, the the reason we thought about this, though, was you brought that video up that I'd seen years ago. It's got 15 million views. And it's uh, a wife trying to get his her husband to read a sentence without his southern accent. And it is... It was damn near impossible for it. It is almost impossible because it had the word oil, (laughs) (laughs) which I know. So he was trying to read oil. And it's just, it's not there. It's not ingrained in you. So you say oil. Yeah. I'm going to change the oil in my car. Honest to goodness, I, I promise you this. If somebody in our area doesn't say oil... Yes. They're either not from here, their parents are not from here, or they have absolutely trained themselves. Yes. Because it's everybody, or they're going to change their oil tomorrow. I have they're never heard anybody in, oil. in this area say oil, Mm-mm. ever. Mm-mm. And so, yes, if you do, it's somebody literally trying or yeah. not from here, like you said, period. And this is, I'm, I want to say they're being pretentious, but maybe they're just seriously trying to speak properly and maybe like the basis of that book. Yeah, they're right. trying to train themselves, but it sounds pretentious. It does. Because it does. Oil is O I L here is basically U L. It's like you said before uh, we started, when you go up north, um, I remember my the first time driving up to Ohio. <laughs> See, normally I would just Ohio, <laughs> but you know, because that's all we're doing is just shortening things and making it easier. Actually, I think it's actually intelligence. Um, but anyway, no, the first time driving up north or whatever, it you hear people speaking. There is so fast, and it, it sounds so fast, and it, it comes off. I'm not saying it is. Obviously, they don't mean anything by it. That's just the way they speak too. But to us, it sounds obnoxious or, you know, I don't know, like they're almost like they're making fun of you. Yeah, you do something. feel that. There's some weird You definitely thing. don't feel welcome. Yes. Uh, it, it is a trip. Like I was, just as an example, I was saying to him, like, say you were up north and you'd say, uh, excuse me, you know where 7-Eleven is? And yeah. <laughs> what's that? Come again? Come again, my guy? What? Yeah. What? <laughs> what? Say seven, eleven. You know they they, they yes. try to make fun of you almost. Right, and, right. When you're standing there, like mm-hmm. I'm, I'm right here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, but they're so fast and everything twitchy and yeah, you know, it, 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 it's, twitchy. <laughs> it's a trip, man. Well, that's what we imagine. Yeah, it's not that it, it's just, and they it's, might see us like we're in the spirit. We're in the spirit world. We're world, so asshole. slow. <laughs> see us. I'm sure because it is a slower, more laid back way of speaking or talking. Yes. Now I'm I'm purposely saying speaking for this podcast, just as an example, because we usually say talking. You take the G off. You the You take end. the G off the end of everything. There's yep. no G's down here. No, except unless they're the beginning of the word. So when you start looking in, what's interesting? We were looking at a couple of things before we started. When people break it down, how it's actually done, it's really actually messy and convoluted, and and uh, there's a lot to it. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? You, you, there's certain areas where you turn T's to D's, but never at the end of a word. Yeah, it's not as simple as it's, you think. It's not as simple as people think. So I get why people have a hard time with accents either way, whether you're trying to do a British one or you're trying to do a Northern English, American English, or Southern accent, whatever. It's There's a lot of little weird rules. Just like if, say, you're watching this and you are from, say, Ireland or Scotland or even here, if you're from New York or Boston, in the New England area, and you see an actor or an actress trying to adapt that accent, mm. and you cringe because they're they're destroying it, butchering it all to hell. Right. We feel the same way because Absolutely. all I see, I was telling him, is 
they they like turn on this sass when they they yes. think uh, if it's a southern woman they got right. oh sugar bless your heart yeah that's the first you know? that's the go to yeah and that's the go to it's just I, it's more than that it, 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 it is I mean that's the that's the stereotypical thing I guess the bless your heart is their go to right when people talk about this because it is a saying. And most of the time, it's an, a saying where, oh, bless her heart, she lost her puppy, or mm -hmm. whatever. It, it really means, bless your heart. It's a literal thing. But the sassy part comes in when you say, oh, bless your heart, that means you're fucking stupid. Yeah, it, it can so mean... it's context. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's the go-to uh, thing, I even think. Even if it's a, a serious role, um, and it's, say, maybe set in the, uh, you know, the... <laughs> south of the past or whatever i've seen like a nicole kidman try to pull off and yeah and, yeah and, and just, it almost is like fingernails down a chalkboard for the whole movie sometimes you're talking about like days of thunder yeah that one there well there was uh the, was the one where, where she played i think it was a civil war movie where her husband goes off and um um she's left behind by herself to try to keep up this house Oh uh, um, yeah, God! Um, it's a good movie, I know what you're man. About it's a now. really good movie, actually. And yeah, you can see when they don't nail it. Uh, it's, yeah, it's pretty clear. And Just like you know, you trying to do, who's do a chick? British accent. Who who's the uh, the girl on Jer Jerry Maguire? Who when he says, "Who's coming with me?" and she goes with him. Oh, um, I know her name. I Is, mean, I see her face. Renee Zellweger. Renee Zellweger. Yep. She's in the movie I'm talking about too. Yeah, yeah. And I think her accent is worse um, than Nicole Kidman's, actually. But both of their accents are kind of uh, rough for me to be Southern accents. Yeah, you, you can definitely, you can I definitely tell. Remember. Because I think, because when you're down here and you live here and you have all your life, you can tell when somebody's from North Carolina versus Alabama. You can. Or Georgia. Mm -hmm. It's completely different. I mean, it gets, that's when you get some of those, when, like when, like I said, when you do that, that caricature of, yes. of the redneck caricature, that's usually deeper south, typically. And I will say that most of the time when people misguess my accent, they guess Texas for some reason. Yeah, I and think, I haven't spent enough time in Texas with actual people who, who were born and raised I there either, right. to know that maybe there's just a small part of North Carolina that is similar to Texas. And I don't know the reason behind that, but right. I've heard Texas a well, lot. Well, I think Texas just life. being the biggest southern state, uh, especially because we've worked But I mean, these are people video. who kind of like would know. I, I'm oh, not just yeah, saying yeah. just like generalizations. Right, um, right. Yeah, yeah. I, I really believe there's a similarity there. And I'm sure yeah, there's there may words, be. specific words that are probably different, but for the most part, maybe it's similar. I don't know. It's something to check out. Yeah, I don't know enough people from Texas either. <laughs> so either. Can't can't we, like, but that's what we're saying. We can't speak for everybody. We can only speak for our little region and, yeah, and that's kind right. of in general about the you know the draw and then the enunciations and then cutting off the G's or whatever it may be. There's all these little. It's not rules, but it's actually when you look into it, and think about it, it's really complicated. English, of course, is the most complicated language on the planet. Anyway, yeah. What kind of things has that website got there? So here's a few examples. Um, you have um, before. And now this will be a, an example of a deep south thing. Um, the word before, be, the word before uh -huh. down here is on this website showing befoa. Now that's three syllables, and the example sentence is, "Have we met befoa?" Now that's See? a really, really like a Louisiana thing, I think, or maybe even an, an older, like you said, an older Southern thing where yeah. it's more uppity. Yeah, have yeah. we met befoa? Like a Southern bill kind yeah, of thing, type of thing, mm -hmm. exactly. Um, so that was um, that's one that not around here we just say before. Yeah. Um, so um, can't is can't. Now yeah. that's pretty common. It very very common. I mean. We're, like I said, we're the king, king of contractions, but there's just that... There, the A sound down here is different in different words. It's really weird. Yeah. But yeah, can't, uh, can't is can't. Um, I guess people up north say dog. Like yeah, I have a tough. German Shepherd dog. Yeah. I have a German Shepherd dog. Yeah, D-A-W-G. D-A-W-G. Dog. Dog. What's up, dog? Yeah. Oh, I was telling Chris this. I'm glad I remembered. Because uh, we were actually talking about this these type of words. Me personally, I say dog, hog, log. Yes. But I say fog. 
With, and that's the weirdest thing. With, yeah. That's the weirdest thing. I don't know where it, that comes from. Yeah, and I don't. I say fog. Yeah, that's a trip, man. You know, when we were doing when I was doing Game of Thrones videos and we were doing live streams and all that stuff, people we were talking about the sword Dawn. I guess they say Dawn for like the Dawn, the morning. Yeah. I say Dawn, and they thought I was saying Dome. Right. M E. D O M E. So yeah. I got a lot of flack about that when I just said the sword Dawn. Yeah. And, <laughs> is, the, and the dishwashing detergent yeah. is Dawn. 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 Dawn dish soap. Yeah. yeah. That is weird because I say, well, you, what do you say? Soggy or soggy? Soggy. I, I say soggy. Yeah. Fog soggy. Yeah. I don't put the saw in the so, in soggy. Right. It's really weird. It's it's. There's so many different. There's double negatives. Well, I mentioned that before. Like, uh, I ain't never. Yes. I mean, I ain't never going over there. I ain't never going. You over just said there. you are. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. But it. But but the person knows exactly what they mean. Right. There's never a question about what I that means. I ain't never doing that again. I ain't never doing that again. Well, you just said you are because you just did a double negative. But <laughs> so yes, I mean that's. <laughs> there are things that don't don't follow the proper rules, the proper rules, so to speak. But uh, <laughs> anyway, here's the other example I used. Uh, Hold far. on. Uh, I just got to say this. I just thought of. I said. I say fog. Yeah, but and I you, never heard you say that. By the way, if you I, put an R, it's frog. Yeah, it's fro- it's, it's that's back, it's weird. Back, it's back to the the well the proper southern the proper southern is uh, frog. Yeah. Not frog. I don't say frog. I say <laughs> fog, but I say Could frog. You ima- so yeah, that's what we kind of wanted to do. If we had sentences, maybe we just pull up some random sentences. We were trying to That'd be the, cool. We were trying to use the Game of Thrones books, but they're written in a way that doesn't allow us it, to really do it. It, it does. It really man. don't. And, um, and you might think it does, but I it, swear we've tried. We read it, through all these books. We picked up every book and tried to read sentences. And there's not any words in there that make it distinctive enough. No. There's it's maybe not. a couple here and there, but and plus, when Southerners read, we read more proper than we speak. Yes. So if I would read something out loud to you, I can enunciate better. And but when I'm just talking normal, right? You know exactly. Um, a couple more examples on here. Um, fellow, as in a guy <laughs> or dude, fella, fella. It's just fella. And my grandma's. My granny said feller. Fe- fe- that's the, there you go. There's where the R comes in. Yes. So there's other dialects, that, and that was called the... I just I just read that a minute ago. There was something that that's actually called, um, and it has. It, it, they do it in Boston as well, but oh. it's the opposite. So we do the opposite. I see what you're people, saying, yeah. We take off. We add R's. They take them off. So car is ka in Boston. Yes. But here, like you said, feller. Yes. You, you're adding the R. So there's actually a thing about that. And... Okay. Um, that goes along for actually British too, I believe. British yeah. accents. Um, my, my, I can still hear my granny saying, uh, that neighbor feller came over here. Yeah, and it goes with what we were saying earlier. Um, I t- Take colors. You got yellow. Mm-hmm. We say yellow. Yes. But other people say yeller. Yes. Like old yeller. That's true. So they're adding R's you have and that yellow depends on. and yeller. Yep, there's two different southern versions of that. Of, and, of yellow, <laughs> and um, I was telling him too the the days of the week. My family, yes. I was raised around people who said Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Tuesday. Yep. And now, you know, I don't. I say Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. You yeah, know, I, yeah. I don't. I don't make it a and that's, ch. And, and see, that's the weird thing. Like we're talking, we're from the same county, mm-hmm. the same town, county, whatever, everything. And he used to say Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I did. And I've never said Sunday, Monday. Tuesday. I've always said Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And it's so just different from families. A, from a kid to now, um, I was telling him that I did. I did change a couple things, and I and I had to try to obviously because everybody in my family still talks that way. Right. Um, let's see on here. Um, now this is one more a little bit deeper south, I think. Uh, four, the number four or four, F O R is FOA. Yeah. That's more of a, you know, or how many cards you got there? How many cards you got there, FOA? Four. Yeah. A lot of people here will yeah. make yeah. that a it, two it, syllable it, word. It can four. become a two syllable word too. That's a, that's really weird. There's, that's what's really odd about it is a lot of things become more syllables. But other things really sh- are shortened, and you knock off letters. Mm-hmm. It's really, it's really odd when you start looking into it. Um, this is one we've made fun of recently. Get, 
I could never imagine. It, it sounds to me, it sounds like Klingon if I would say, get out of here. It, I just, ooh, it's get. <laughs> get out of here. Get. Get. You know, we've been doing that whole Bigfoot thing yeah. since we did the Bigfoot podcast. I can never imagine saying get. Yeah. Get a hold of yourself. Get out of here. <laughs> it's hard to say. It really is hard to say. And get. that sentence, if you think about it, but get here's the, here's the out. Thing. You, we actually shorten the word out when we're saying that sentence. I can to hear get, it. Get yes. out of here. Out of here. Out of here. Everything's yeah. shortened together. But like you said, I can't say get, but I say let. Oh yeah. It's not lit. No. Nope. I mean, lit is getting drunk. That's a whole different word. <laughs> yeah, and you can say bet. Bet uh, is yeah. bet, but you cannot say get. It's, yeah. it's not right. Get, <laughs> it's not right here. Get 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 out of here. Get me that. Get me that. Uh, get me one of them drinks at the store. Get. Yeah, I can't <laughs> say. Could you go in there and, and get me a sun drop? <laughs> or no, would you have to say Coke? I guess Coke is another thing. Coke yeah. means all fizzy drinks yeah. down here in some in some places. Not here. Here it's just a drink. Yep. So there you go. There's more regional regional dialect stuff. Um, let's see. Here, well, here's another one. Um, own. Hold on now. Let's go back to get. Okay. Would you not say, though, if somebody that's watching this came here to, say, visit us, mm -hmm. and they heard somebody who didn't say get, they weren't raised around here? Yeah, if they don't say get, yeah, yeah, they're not here. They're I, not from here. I, I don't no want way. you guys to think that we're just nuts or what. I mean, seriously, no, no. if you if you because you would hear the that, word it's, get is get, and and it I'm telling you, it's just like some of you guys who are from the north or whatever. Maybe you feel the same way when we speak. It like you said, <laughs> nails on a chalkboard. You, you can hear that instantly, and you you might have uh, relatives that live close to here or friends or whatever. But I'm just all I'm saying is they weren't in this region raised, or their parents weren't raised in this region here where we grew up. Even teachers would say "get." Yeah, if they were yeah, from I've, here. I've never heard the word "get" uh, around here, and except <laughs> for like conversations like this, where we're talking about Southern. Uh, okay, so here's an example of how we combine things, because um, this is obviously one of the big things in Southernisms, mm -hmm. um, is if you're going to say something like, I'm going to go somewhere, I'm going to the car, it's gonna. Yeah. You just combine it. There's no point in saying going to, it's I'm going to go now to the store to get a pack of Marlboros. I actually text <laughs> gonna. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Don't, I don't text going to, even if I'm... Texting I'm, and trying to I'm glad to write. you said the texting thing. Yeah. Because we've talked about that a minute ago. I I think everybody now we used to get made fun of for the way we talk. <laughs> but now everybody's actually doing it, if you think about yeah, it. Yeah, they're doing and, a lot of in it. their own text message. You're doing shorthand. Yeah. You're speaking southern. Yeah. Essentially. You are. You're shortening a lot of shit. It, so and now I purposely like uh to you and Eric, I'll I'll text what you up to. I don't spell out what are you up to. Oh, no, you do it both ways. You do watch you. Yeah. And now yeah. you're doing chew. Yeah. Like C-H-O-O, -O, chew doing. Chew doing. Exactly. <laughs> and, and I know and, exactly what you mean. And, and, and Yeah, he knows exactly what I mean. So that's, I'm even shortening the short. Yes. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. But yeah, if you're doing like are you, the letters are in you, Whatever in a text message, you're speaking the way we are th the way we process things. That's that's yeah, that's the way we did it down here. Since we drag everything out, yes, we shorten stuff exactly to try to even it up. I, I guess I don't know. If there's, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not like if we pronounce every letter and every oh, you know how long that whatever. would take. That and that's what would be so hard for us if we try to read a sentence like uh, properly, it would be weird. It really would be. Um, it's just, it's crazy. So, but it's not like somebody ever sat down one day back in, I don't know, the 1700s and said, and made these rules up. It just happens. And you see how it splits off even among neighbors and family, the same family. You know, it's, it's crazy. Like, tell me if this is something you would have heard. Um, come here is come here. Yes, absolutely. It's, ne it's come never, here. It's never come here. Come here, Come let here. me give you a hug. Come here, let me get that out of your hair. You know? And that would be, you know, something like C U M E E R. Yeah, come here. Come here. So that's a very common thing. You could use all kinds of examples of that. Um, 
Uh, here's what you said. You, you were talking about the colors. That's what's mentioned here is red. Some people do make it two syllables. Yeah. And that I don't personally red, do that, but red. Th- that's very common. Yeah, there was one here that we don't agree with, skull versus school. That's not, yeah, I mean, that, I'm sure that's somewhere, uh, but uh, not that we are aware of. Now, some places in the United States, you'll hear them say school. Like, yeah, school. 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 And for us, yeah. it's just school. <laughs> it's school. And really, it's not even a nail on it. It's no, just school. It's kind of S K O O. Yeah, it, pretty much. Like, our tongue is almost forming that L, it's, but not it's, quite. It's like right on the edge. School. Yeah, exactly. It's very true. This is very common. I mentioned the the fire and far tire is a tar. Yeah, no, you need to get your tar like looked at. Your tar is going bald. Yeah, yeah. tar. <laughs> your tar is looking slick. <laughs> you know, that's really. Why common. are you late work? Flat tar. <laughs> yeah, and I think these things change too with um because we don't say tar, but our parents not not my parents, but I know a lot of people parents. I mean, saying like people my age, their parents said tar. Yeah, and my, I never did. It was my. My dad a little bit, but it was my grandparents mm-hmm. and all that. They said tar. So for sure. It, things, He's gonna whoop the tar out of you. Oh yeah. Uh now that is actually tar. That's actually tar. But he s- says it exactly like that. Exactly. Flat the same tar. Way. Um here's the example of the contractions that we p- put things together, we smash them all together. Nobody here would ever say, Now you all head over that way and I'll be there in a minute. Y'all. Yo. Now, of course, this is another go-to, but it's so true. This is one that's actually accurate. Some, is y'all come on over now. You hear? Something I've learned, though, uh, I've thought about recently, is here, I think, with the influx of people um, from the north coming down here. Mm-hmm. So they can y'all get uh, seasons. has almost turned into you guys here. Uh, you guys has gotten yeah. so popular over the last, say, 20 years. Yeah, that's true. Um, but y'all... Used to be unanimous across right. the board. Yeah, but yeah, I I still hear mostly y'all. Um, but yeah, th- I mean things are changing. Things change. Yeah, you guys as people move in and yeah, and I, their dialects. I picked up you guys, y'all. I say it to y'all a lot. You guys, you guys, yeah. you guys. When right. I'm referring to the camera, so yeah. But y'all used to be hundred percent across the board. Yep. Uh, definitely, definitely things changing. Uh, and then the last one on this particular list was, I mentioned it was yellow for yellow. Yeah. Um, you just don't take the time and it's not like you're purposely saying I'm, I'm, I'm bucking the system. You, you just don't take the time to enunciate the last W, you you know, like yellow. Right. Yellow. And yeah. And remember old yeller Mm. with the R. Um, yeah. Yeah. Down here is more yellow. All right, so that's that's the list I had as far as like right. some examples I had, of how things I had a are couple thrown more together actually. or stretched out. Because yeah. you said um, you said oil earlier. Yeah, we mentioned the video oil versus oil. Oh, no, <laughs> I couldn't. I just that, that's the heebie-jeebies, man. I wrote boiled. Yes, and bold, bold, bold. And I actually spelled it's like B U L L D. Yes, bold, bold. It's a bold that's egg. A bold egg, exactly. Yep. Yeah, I mean that's just. It's, it really, I, I can't, I don't know how else to explain it. It, it gives me the heebie jeebies when I try to, when I, I mean, not in this context of doing the podcast talking about it, but if somebody would, <laughs> would say boiled, it's, it just is weird. Well, that's what we talked about before we came on was like, now if they're not from here, yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah. it flows it, for yeah, some right. reason. It's not, you're not thinking but about it. If they're people, from here, and they say those words, you hear it. It's weird, man. You yes. hear them trying, boiled in oil. <laughs> That's a, no, it's the, boiled in oil. Right. <laughs> and the, and here's the thing. There's nothing wrong with either. And I actually wrote down man, and yes, it, I, I, I make it two syllables, man. Yes. And that's what man. we were talking about earlier in the differences between just even us being from the same town and county is James has a lot more of those um, double syllable single word single syllable words like I just say man but, but you're more man yeah he can I play with your he man yeah he that, man that one felt what? weird he man 
That one feels a little bit weird, but I do say that thing. And I think that's from my grandma coming from the mountains. Yeah, and because the haint. We talked yeah. about haint, and that was I in one of those lists. She got blended in my yeah. talk somehow. But I think here's the thing I've noticed, too. When me and you are having some conversation you know, out, out front or on the mm-hmm. front porch in the old days or whatever, when you're more fired up, what, you how are, does it go? It, more it goes southern? more southern. Huh? It, it like you would like I can never hear thought a, about. I it. can hear a distinct man <laughs> when you're fired up. That's funny. Uh, that, I can hear a distinct. Cool. I can hear distinct. Um, like uh, for example, I remember one we were talking about something. We're getting fired up about something. Not arguing with each other. It was just like fired up. Right. And you said, "I ain't got time for shit like that." And wow. you, you and it was like like that, and that's common, very yeah, common. But it, it was is. more it was more pronounced right. instead of like like that. You know what I mean? Okay, here's my credit card. Yeah, I, I got a phone number. Give me an address. I'm gonna go kill this some bitch. <laughs> yeah, like, like like maybe, but maybe it was that night. <laughs> I ain't going out like that. <laughs> Bless his heart. <laughs> Cause that, that's an, I don't know. Have we told that story? No, 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 no. Yeah, okay, we're not going to tell that story. No, we filmed it and then was like, <laughs> oh, that's right. Uh-huh. I vetoed that yeah, shit. Yeah, that's right. That's right. We was like, let's see what it looks <laughs> like. That's right. Yeah, so anyway, <laughs> got time for a quick story? No shit. Maybe later if he maybe, decides to go there. Maybe route. later. Uh, but here's some common things uh, to, to kind of get, I guess, wrap this up because we don't want to. I know some people are like, what the fuck are they doing? Bless your heart. We talked about that. Uh, that's everybody's go-to, but it is a very common thing. And it really, I, the I other say thing, it sincerely a lot of times. Yeah. Well, here's the other thing that goes kind of along with bless your heart, though, that you'll hear a lot when you go, say, for to a restaurant, maybe a fast food restaurant, your drive-through, uh, honey and sweetie. Yeah. You get called honey and sweetie. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter. It, it's usually a girl who calls. Any anybody, girl or guy, right. honey or sweetie, and it has nothing to do with Doesn't mean she's flirting with no, your man. It's not flirting. Mm-mm. It's that's exactly what I was gonna say. And um <clears throat> as far as the bless your heart thing, my family used to say bless it. Uh, yeah, bless it. Um, and and sometimes, you know, might take the it off of it, but most of the she might just say bless. But a lot of times it all it was bless it. You know, uh, yeah, I remember the I remember feelings the got hurt. Yes, and another one that my grandma would say, excuse me, um, uh, in the same vein of bless it was this is the mountains only that that grandma that said haint. Yes, the, she would haint, say, by the way for anybody that's not seen the other podcast yeah. is a ghost. Yes, that's the mountain hill. That's a real hillbilly word for ghost for real. Yep. And she would also say. <laughs> This is so weird. <laughs> She'd say, "They God youngins, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> they God, they God youngins, look at the way she's acting over there." Because she always liked to talk about the neighbors, right? They God youngins. Oh, that's she's hey. got a guy. She's got a feller over there while while he's at work. When you do see those videos about stereotypes of Southern, what like Southern mama and things mm-hmm. like that, gossip is a big thing. It really is. But you just reminded me when you said uh, youngins. I went to, now this is like, was weird for me, and I'm from North Carolina. I went to the beach one time to, I think it was actually the Outer Banks. Mm-hmm. So I was, this is when I was like 14. Me and my cousin uh, met two girls, and this girl said, Yuns. Yes. Yuns is not here, but it's, it's and this was Kentucky. But my family in the mountains. Yes. That family. Mountains family. They say yuns. It, I'm telling you, from Kentucky all the way down to Georgia in the Appalachian Trail, that whole area, it's yuns. It's, and, and that's, that's short, you all. Yeah, for you ones. You, yeah. yes. you all has been Modified changed to again. you ones, exactly. which has changed to yuns. Yuns. And, and I, it, was, it, like, it shocked me. Like, yuns coming back tonight at 8 o'clock? Dude. Or, or, and I was like, what did she say? That I swear that I mean I, I can hear when you said that I hear my uncle Glenn yeah. he'd say that Yun's Yun's gonna come over for dinner right right yeah and I heard this girl I remember what she looked like and everything I just I remember and the first time she's because we were we had met him or whatever like outside on the beach or whatever we had to go back and eat or something we were trying to like go back out and meet him like at eight or nine that night or whatever on the beach you know and I remember her saying now Yun's come back out here tonight and I was like. What the hell did she just say? Because I mean, I had never been. I know that had exposed. to be shocking. Yeah, yeah and that's that's, that's a, culture shock for a damn southern. That's a weird word. There's man. a there's so there's such a big difference between 
say, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, whatever, going down into Louisiana and the mountains. It's just two different worlds. Yeah, they say holler, and you know, for hollow. Yeah, up that, in the hollers of, of West Virginia. Yeah, it's a trip. The man. hoots and hollers. Uh, so um, here's a good example. Uh, fixing to. I'm fixing to go, you know, do a podcast. Fixing to. Yep. Or fixing to. Fixing to do that. I'm fixing. It's all... Shortened with an X, F I X I N, fixing ta, T A. <laughs> Typically. He's fixing to do that again. He's fixing to change the O. Dude. <laughs> so, That's so common. It is very, very common. Um, that has not changed. Um, these are more of like sayings. I don't necessarily want to get in all the sayings, but there are some crazy sayings that are just ancient. And mm -hmm. some even I don't remember. I remember even to this day, my mom will say something occasionally. Like it's so rare. But occasionally we'll be talking on the phone or whatever, and she'll say some old saying that I'm like, wait, I have not heard that one. Right. And I'm like, bullshit, you've heard that before? And I'm like, no, I have not heard that one. But she would say when she was a kid, or my grandma or grandpa would say it or something. But um, this one right here, this is, I don't say it, it doesn't amount to a hill of beans. Yeah, I mean, that's... It, it don't mean shit. It's, it's more what, older. Yeah, uh, these are more older generation yeah, stuff. Yeah, but... Stuff you would have heard. Um, it's a blowing up a storm. Heard that a lot. Heard that a lot. Yes. I did heard that because that's one of those things you're outside, you know, doing the pecans, not pecans. <laughs> pecans. On, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but we, I literally had to do this. Me and my cousin were forced to climb pecan trees and shake them. With, we had to tie ropes and shake Hell them. Hell yes. Because um, my grandparents did pecans. And, Damn and if you're up there, Hurry up! It's blowing. It's a blowing up a storm, and it's not just it's blowing up a storm. It's a, <laughs> it's a blowing up a storm. Yeah, I don't know where they add the A's from, but that's just the way it it's is. It's a trip. Um, let's see. Over yonder, there's one. You oh, just mentioned. dude, you just passed one. My grandma said all the oh, time. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, the thing refreshed. But um, but that says more than Carter's got little peels. My my grandma, I swore she was always saying liver peels. Well, right there. There it is. Um, when Carter Products marketed little liver peels. Oh, that's what my grandma country. said. More, got more than Carter's got liver peels. Uh, my grandma said that all the time. And see, I've never heard this one. And there you go. There you go. There's the difference. But yeah, I haven't heard uh, the, the, the liver, liver, liver peels. Yeah, that's what she so said. So apparently Carter had a great many peels because the phrase found its way to the Southern vocabulary. You may still hear it if you step into a country store. Okay. Uh, over yonder, over that's yonder, co very so common, so common. Still, I personally don't say yonder unless I'm making fun of things. Mm -hmm. Um, it, I, I probably, maybe I have. I don't, I don't recall it. But I, I feel like I've heard you say that. Yeah. So over, over yonder. Where was Riddick? Oh, he was over yonder. <laughs> I, I feel <laughs> messing like, with I, that I mean, other maybe, dog. I, I very could, I very well could occasionally, but I feel like I just say over there. Yeah, you but, you mainly would say over there, and that sounds more yeah, normal. But, but I know I would say it definitely. I definitely when I'm making fun, like like I said, those got videos with rednecks. I'm sure I said yes. that for sure. Um, she was madder than a wet hen. There's so many of a these lot type of, those. of things. There's yeah. a lot of you know just dis displaying your displeasure or something. <laughs> Uh, Till the cows come home. That was Hell I heard yes. that every other day growing up. Yes, and it's just the old um, thing that when you know farmers calling in their cows and it takes forever. Uh, that's the, that's where that comes from. Uh, I haven't heard of this one. Have you heard you of this? One? Oh yes. If I had my druthers. Oh God, yeah. My grandparents on all both sides said if that. If I would know. rather, okay. Yeah. If I had my druthers, I'd do it all over again. Do it different this time. You know. Yeah. Okay, so it's apparently the phrase of celebrating rather. the song. Yeah, yeah rather. Mm -hmm. uh, phrase of celebrating the song in the hilarious Southern inspired Broadway musical, uh, Little Abner. I'll be And there, there's another thing right there. Speaking of that, Little, like every rapper today has, is Lil Wayne, Little, mm -hmm. little whatever, instead of Little. Yes. Little is a Southern thing. Right. L I L. Mm -hmm. So not little, but little. Mm -hmm. As in the same thing, shortening up things and whatever. Sweet little redhead girl across the street. Yep. Mm -hmm. You see that little girl over there? Yep. She's mighty pretty. <laughs> pretty. <laughs> pretty instead of pretty. pretty. Instead yes. of pre That's another Hell thing. I, can, yes. I, can, I, like, I almost literally cannot say the word pretty. <laughs> I have to really focus on it. It's funny you say that. There is a paintbrush. The name is Purdy, P-U-R-D-Y. Yes, they, they, they did boot a brand. After. My buddy freaking Kent was a professional painter, and he was saying, 
um, something about my pretty brush. And I kept saying, what's yeah. so fucking pretty about it? <laughs> he's so he's like, he held it up to me. Purdy. Purdy. Exactly. Yeah. So they use this in, in marketing now. I think that's pretty cool. I remember seeing that too when I was uh, when I bought, bought some paintbrushes. But um, I can't. I can say pretty or, or a certain way, but I can't like. It, it, like it's hard for me to sit there and think about it and enunciate it properly. That's one of those like words pretty. we change the T's to D's. In. Yeah, pretty. Yeah, that's more like it. Yeah. Exactly the D's. So that's the T. That's the T rule. Yeah, we do that to those kind of words. So T's become D's in the middle of the word, but it, not necessarily at the beginning. Yeah, or the end. And she's got big titties. So she's pretty. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Titties. Titties. Yeah, D's. that's definitely. <laughs> I know people have heard that one. Absolutely. <laughs> so yes, um, she's as Purdy as a peach. Yeah. There's purdy the, as a peach. Purdy as a peach. Kind of the same thing. Full as a tick. God that's dang, a common yes. one. That it's not as common Somebody anymore. Somebody unbuckling their belt at, at Thanksgiving. At Thanksgiving. Yeah. I'm, I'm as full as a tick. Or Thanks. as happy as a tick on a dog. Oh, hell yes. Yes. Happy as a tick on a dog. That's obviously self explanatory. But this is the kind of things people come up with and it just gets passed on, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um if the creek don't rise. Now yeah. I've heard this a little bit, not often, but I've heard this one. That also reminds me of the word itself, crick. Yeah. Versus creek. Yeah, that's just weird. I don't I don't like saying creek. I mean, I, no. I've always said creek, but Same damn here. my grandparents said creek. Yep. It that's one of those crazy. things. It's a mixture it's everywhere. Like I don't say I don't say creek. I've always said creek. My parents never said creek, but somebody right down the road might have said creek. This is this, it's really weird. This is off subject, kind of, but um, did you, like, remember when you were young enough to wear your baths? Maybe you weren't actually bathed. Uh, you were too old to be actually given a bath by your mom. But once you, like, got out and she might be drying your hair and stuff, and she would take the towel or a wash rag and say there. She, let me get them taters out of your ears. Oh, Did yes. you ever hear that? Yes, the taters. Like there's taters growing in your ears, but the, yes. she'd always say that. There's a rat's nest in your hair and taters growing in your ears. <laughs> That's another thing about Southern is you have the word potatoes that became taters. Yes. I didn't think about I, that. Because that's the, what it's from, is yeah. potatoes is taters. Right. But then they use it for something else because it looks like that thing. So oh, taters right. in your ears looks like a potato. Right, right. <laughs> so that's the common word. And I still say that, mashed taters. Yes. I never. I, I don't think I've ever said mashed potatoes. <laughs> that's just weird to me, man. It's so weird. <laughs> Saying, like, trying to enunciate, which is, I guess, proper. Let me tell you. <laughs> the, got time for a story? Yeah. I was at the South Carolina State Fair. And well, do we work some hellacious yeah, hours you there? Carney stories. Right? <laughs> we, I mean, would they kill us out there with those hours? Right. So uh, there, there was a um, what do you call it? A um, what's K and W? A cafeteria. Cafeteria. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what's K and W? There's a cafeteria. You mean crinkles and wrinkles? <laughs> <laughs> There's a cafeteria right there beside our stand, and it was a blessing to get to go in there and sit down and right. eat a meal. Because you're usually eating so fast. So I went in there. I was so excited. Everybody kept saying, go in there on your next break. Go in there. So I get in line, and I go through there, and they've got... Now, we're in South Carolina, Columbia, South Carolina. Right. And I wanted some damn mashed potatoes. All they had was new potatoes. Uh, right. And I and I was like, you don't have mashed potatoes? This is this. We're in the South. Yeah, you don't have right. mashed potatoes? <laughs> nope. Yeah. And so <laughs> I went back out. And yes. spent the rest of my break while I was eating raisin hill about it. So now, excuse me, like even all these years later, my buddy will go, "They're not mashed," <laughs> and make right. fun of me. But mashed potatoes is so so. I mean, it probably is everywhere. But I'm telling you here, yes, like they they trump baked potatoes. They trump any kind yes. of potatoes. And the only other kind that's even close, but not really, is fried potatoes. And oh yes, and now we're saying oh, potatoes because we just said yes. that. But I would say fried taters. Right, right, we're, right. We're now we're like almost, but there's some psychological going on here. We're changing the way we talk. And anyway. when he says fried taters, he does not mean like French fries. No, 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 no. You take no, no, no. potatoes yes. and chop them up. They can be little round discs or yep. pieces of round discs. Thin slices like you're going to make potato chips, Put but not that thin. Oil in the pan and mm. fry them jokers. Yes. Oh, my God. Ketchup. Fried they get crispy. Taters. They get crispy. Oh, God, it's so good. Fried taters. Um, a couple more here. There's not many because most of these are, you know, you could you could do a billion of these. Um, but Warren Slap Out. Speak, 
I'm sorry, but speaking of cooking, I was oh, raised. Yeah. I was raised to say okra. Oh, really? Instead, Instead of okra. okra, yeah, fried okra. Not a fried okra. Yeah, we, no, we I, always at my I house. Think we I've always had okra. fried okra. I think I've heard okra, but I've never. We've and never I know said it's it. okra. Yeah, but that to me is almost like a fingers on the chalkboard thing. My family okra is what it's oh, called. You're saying here an okra is. Fingers? Okra is like fingers oh, on. Oh, I got yeah. you. Yeah, it's almost like when you had that revel revelation about. Chimney, yes, and all that. That's the way it was for right. me when I read the word. I was like, "You mean it don't end with a Y?" Or yeah, a I -E? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, I've always said, I always said okra. Uh, worn slap out. I mean, that's oh, just yeah. exhausted. But that's, I would feel like so, that's everywhere. It's so common. Here. I, I would yeah. feel. I'd feel like that too. I don't know. I haven't heard it, but you know, you hear less of this as as you know the older generation gets older, and mm -hmm. you're not around people as much, and you're out on your own or whatever. So you're not hearing these as often. Uh, this was, I'm sure this is everywhere. Hold your horses. I, it's so common, I would believe it would be everywhere. I, I would imagine. It just means stop, wait, yeah. you know, that type of thing. It means calm down, hold on a second. Now, here's hold one I remember hearing as, a, as, as being, as when I was younger, well, I declare. Oh, yeah. And it's like, in, instead of saying, um, it's it's almost like a, well, let's see, let's see what it says here. The multipurpose Southernism. If you're using this phrase, you could be declaring any number of things, surprise, dissent, or happiness. Yep. I was going to say surprise before I read that. So yep. it's like, well, I declare. Yeah. Uh, and like, that, and I was, I have heard it like, well, I declare. Yeah. More like declare. <laughs> yeah, like declare. That. Yes. Yeah. And that's the thing. There's always these things that change within the little That's things. right. Yeah. The words change or whatever based off context too. Um, he was funny as all get out. I've heard this a million times, yes. but I've never understood the all get out. Me either. Um, let's see what it says. Actually, I've never thought about all it. All get out finds a way into, into its southern phrases constantly, it and does. intensify. And it's an intensifier for any statement. Okay. I was surprised as, as all get out. It was as bad as all get out. Anything to the degree of all get out is something to talk about. So all get out. I never thought of it as southern. I, I haven't either. It's but, common though. Very common, and so it don't really say what all get out actually came from, that mm -hmm. part of it. So it's basically, it's a modifier. Okay. It's a modifier for um, it's... I agree with it. it uses, it's used in a diff bunch of different ways. It is. But yeah. He was funny as all get out. So common. Um, here, No bigger than a minnow in a fishing pond. I can't place that, hearing that, really. Yeah, but I think I'm, I may have. It sounds familiar, but I We say a lot of things like that. Yeah. So that's there's, probably there's why There's so it many that are so similar. Yeah. You, you take this one phrase, and it gets changed a billion times in every family. Mm -hmm. So you can't, I obviously, know them all. Heavens to Betsy. Yeah. Yeah. Remember that? That's surprise. More. Exclamation, yep. explanation of surprise. Um, hush your mouth. Oh, hell yeah. Instead of just shut the hell up or shut up, yes. hush your mouth. Yes. Hush is, I guess, a Southern thing. <laughs> um, oh, great. There, here it goes. Grandma might whisper to this one over her, uh, hymnal. <laughs> That's right. That's true. That, that I've had that happen to me <laughs> right in that exact location. Um, you, you, or if somebody says something that kind of surprises you, like hush your mouth. Yeah, like, right. No like, way. I don't believe that. Yeah, no way that it. happened. Hush your mouth. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, too big for his britches. Oh, hell yeah. Heard that a billion times. I've been accused of being too big for my britches Same. a lot. <laughs> Same. Uh, these couple of these are. And in case you don't know, britches are pants. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, if, for you guys that watch this channel, if you watch the old stuff, breeches in Game of Thrones. Is in there, right? Oh, if you read the book, that's true, dude. Breaches is a thing. So breaches is the southern version. Is the of that. southern word? Yeah, breaches. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's there's really it's really cool when you look into like British slang and stuff. How some of the is really similar with, um, with American English slang. Southern is what I'm saying. There's right. really some similarities there. It's really cool. Well, you and I talked about you know how it's funny how we're colonized. You know we're British, right? Yeah, and, and like Australia was colonized, but yep. how the how how we it changes talk so different, yeah. you know? it, it, it's it's really it's really crazy when you think about the history of it. Because mm -hmm. uh, uh, bloody, you know, bloody is a very British thing. Yeah, why did that not stick here? But um, crikey is a Australian thing, but yet this it's over there in some places too. It's it's so it's it's crazy. It's weird. It is. It's fascinating. It, it is fascinating. Actually. Is what I mean. It, yeah. It's like you'd like to see how that transpired. Like I mean, it just takes a couple of transplants to spread it through the whole country. Damn right. That's all it really is. And there's only one more in here. Um, well, I swanee. 
Or can't never could's also on here too. Yeah. Can't never could. Can't that's never basically could. saying positive thinking. Don't yeah, say, don't don't say can't. Don't doubt yourself. Yeah, because they, they'd always say, you'd yeah. be like, I can't do this. Can't, can't never, never could. could. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did. I hear it. You hear that a lot when you're starting to play sports when you're younger. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah that's definitely a thing. And then the last one on this list is Well, I Sawani. Yeah. Um, I've heard that a few times. Yes. It's more of a, I think, a more of a. I didn't know there was an apostrophe thing. in it like that. Yeah, the way I, I thought it, it was like the Swanee River. Same. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, it's basically Well, I Swear. Okay. So, um, anyway, that's just a few examples. And each one of those has a million derivatives. Like every one oh, of them. Oh, yeah. Because that's every true. family. One all it takes is Uncle Bob to say one thing slightly different, and that whole family from that point on says it completely different. Yeah. So you got a million of the same kind of. Somebody can be happy as a pig in shit. Exactly. I mean, you know, like he said, full as a tick on a dog. I mean, it's it's they always like to put animals in si- <laughs> situations. Exactly. You're as useless as a pogo stick in quicksand. He's mad in a hornet. Mad as a hornet. Yes, yeah. madder than a hornet. That's yeah. all. That was one. And that's another thing. Matter. Oh yeah. Yeah, instead of mad. Yeah, and and, and like uh knee, knew you since you were knee high to a grasshopper. Knee high to a grasshopper, sure. I feel like that's it's exaggeration. Yeah. It's exaggeration we for love all the stuff. Putting animals and insects and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> that's a trip. But I don't know, man. I feel like I mean I've watched enough of my videos back to know I, I feel like we're pretty it's pretty normal. We're pretty normal compared to the older generation. Oh, yeah. Like, it's just, it's changed a lot. Yeah, in just one generation. In just one generation, because, like I said, my mom even mostly don't speak like that. But then occasionally, like I said, I'll be like, you never said that one before. What's that mean? Or who said that? You know, right. so I'm asking, like, did Grandma say that? Because I never heard Mama say that. So, And, and that's going to happen to you. Uh, you know, once mm-hmm. you, you get older and something from your past Yep. Comes out your mouth real fast, and you're in Camden. Be like, you ain't never used that phrase before. <laughs> exactly, and I'll swear I have a million mm-hmm. times, and and never have said it. So uh, I don't know. But anyway, this I, is interesting. It is. It is interesting. It really is and interesting. You start thinking about it because it's. You know what? It sucks having a stigma attached to you. Yeah. Just because where you were born geographically, like that, like um, how we've talked about people thinking our IQ is lower. Yeah, yeah. You automatically uh, get like a, a IQ deduction when they hear you speak. Yeah. And, and, you know. And people, we have got a lot of good comments about Oh, yeah, oh, we absolutely. love your accent. I feel like we get more accent love from people outside oh, yeah. the United States than in our own country. Yes, you know? absolutely. Absolutely. I think that's true. And it, like I said, for, for me at least, it started as all like negative stuff, and then it became, oh, I really love your accent. That's, you know, where are you from or whatever. So, but look, I'm not, we're not whining about it. No, I just want to make that clear. We're not, no, whining. we think it's funny. No. Yes. Like we, I, 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 I love, I wish we had more hate comments to read because I think they're funny. It's funny, like growing up here. Because I have and, a sense of humor and I can laugh at myself is what I'm saying, I guess. Right. Sorry. Sorry. But no, you think about like our grandparents. We've said on here before, both of our parents wore overalls and coveralls, right? Mm, yes. Yep. But, you yep. got to figure, like, think about, like, big cities like New York. They pictured their grandparents in, like, a suit or, you know, the, right. not on a tractor, basically. Exactly, not yes. doing, I mean, they're in, doing, in like, the city. city stuff. In the city, You know, yes. I guess, and they talk more like Archie Bunker With and shit like that. With the top hat and all yeah. that kind of stuff, yeah. Like a fedora So everybody something. has, every region, every whatever has their little thing, and... It, I guess and there's they some have sayings. There's, they have their own sayings, and I guess other parts of the country or whatever look down on some way on them. Like, that, you're right. I'm sure that like New York people have an issue with Bostonians or something. Mm-hmm. The way that you know the ca type, right? Whatever. I'm sure that's a thing. So let us know. Yeah. Like wherever you're from, whether it's you know Britain, funny sayings, and funny stuff sayings. Too. You know, do you get shit for the way you talk somewhere or speak properly? Do you get shit? Do you hear yourself? <laughs> well, no, but you, see, now, get get and shit shouldn't run. See, no, but but get. that's what I mean. Now, d- that's what I mean. During this podcast, because we're talking about it, we're more aware of it. Yes, it's weird. It's a weird thing. Do you get shit where you're get, from? Get shit. <laughs> he went uh, right over yonder through that holler. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> so, he had six fingers. Yeah, I swear to God, six fingers. 
And, and that's why I, that's why I like comedians that make fun of they're hilarious because there's truth to it. There is. Um, you know, you got Donnie Baker on YouTube, who obviously is playing a character. He cracks me and up. And he is Chris. hilarious because is there's truth involved in the way he's talking. And he purposely doesn't pronounce L's yeah, in dude. every every word that has an L in it. And that's just the way some people talk. Yeah, they do. There, there, There's almost a poetic way yeah. that some of these older Southern people talk. Oh, yeah. It, it's a trip, man. and Because they use phrases like that. With the way they pronounce words, and it's 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 really yeah, cool. And, and there's there was also an uppity thing too. Like I guess it was based off class or something. I mean, you can imagine some lady with a picture in church with her thing. Oh, honey, I won't slap out. Yeah, you know, and that's oh, not what yes. the kid outside would speak would talk like. He would say something completely different. Uh, so it's it's really it's really interesting when you start thinking about the break and the breaking it down and how it's actually said where like you said some things are contracted and other things are stretched out with a draw yes you know and so it's it's really interesting to think about dialects and how they change and even like we said the same town or whatever or the same family different yeah uh, different sayings on one side of the family and um the funny thing is how you know we're simplified a lot oh well, yeah, if yeah people were gonna say that's the, the south it'd be like oh simplified. grits sweet tea um, you know, they think they can like narrow us down to about five things. Yeah, exactly. But the funny thing is, is yes, sweet tea is a big deal. It is. But you'll have battles in in families about how much sugar to put in it and stuff. So yes, but remember, it, it gets condensed down even beyond that. It does. But remember what he's saying here: sweet tea. He would never have to say off this podcast. Right. It's just tea. Right. Because any how much tea sugar here, do you put in your tea? That's right. Any tea here is automatically sweet. Yeah. Like you, I remember going up uh, that one time. I told you. I went up to a, I think it was a Pizza Hut, and I heard what kind of pop you want. Didn't know what the fuck she just said to me, and then I said I'll take tea, and I never thought about it, and because uh, I was like seventeen, and I uh, wanted to drive somewhere, you know, far, and uh, it, she comes back, and I'm like, you know, spit it out. There ain't no sugar in this, and I had to, I didn't know. No, I didn't know I had to ask for sweet tea. Because and, tea here is all sweet. And they'll tell you, oh, the sugar's on the table. It, it, Dude, that ain't the same. No, you can't no. Do you that. can't do that. Those little packets ain't shit. Mm -mm, it's all granulated <laughs> in there and stuff. It never, it never dissolves that's properly. Funny. So and, and, yeah, but that uh, that's actually something that is annoying too, is is nowadays though, when you go to a restaurant here in our hometown, oh yeah, the waitress will say, Um, would you like sweet tea? And, and it used like he said, you used to never have to spe specify. Right. And now that's because people move down here because they want seasons. So people up north are wanting four different seasons throughout the year, so they move here or all the way down to Florida and whatever, and yeah. then it becomes a thing where now the restaurants have to have a sweet tea and a regular tea. Yeah. And and they, they don't get me wrong, they Ooh. always have because like older people, diabetes and things like that, but you had to request that Dude, specially. And there was a time when he and I worked at Pizza Hut, be like, why do we even waste our time making this unsweetened tea? We make it every day. Every day. Nobody drinks it. No. We dump out the whole we, thing we made. Never. Every day. We'll go through like five urns of sweet tea, and this it, urn sits here it sits all there day. sits there all day and then just sits there and sours. Yes. <laughs> so Nobody it orders do. it. So, <laughs> anyway. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments on YouTube, if you don't mind. And um, let us know what you think, by the way, if you listen to this on SoundCloud, Google Play, Podbean, Spotify, or iTunes. Leave us a review there and let us know. Um, I mean, we're just doing these for fun. Yeah, I we're, we're going to get back to and finish Game of Thrones you and we know, have some other things coming. They know this about us, though, that we, we say it a lot, but I think they get it on their own, too, is, is we really love the psychology of things. Mm -hmm. So that's what it boils down to. It's not just simply us going, you know, this is how we talk. We no, like to no. think about, you know, and, and right. appreciate the differences between how our families talk different. Right. And, you know, that's what it boils fun. down to. When we're doing, when we do a podcast, whether it's true crime, talking about Tiger King or talking about, you know, making a murder or talking about Southernisms, it's really what it boils down to is the psychology behind it. And in yeah. and, and every one of these. Yeah. Uh, it, it's just fascinating to me how people think and how things happen naturally without any planning. Yeah, because the whole Southern dialect thing and wherever you are, that was never planned by anybody. 
You know, so it's, that's, it's that's fascinating right. how it develops. It, it developed. And like exactly. when we did the Tiger King podcast, it's easy to just make fun of Joe Exotic. Yeah. But we like like what creates what, a Joe Exotic. What creates a Joe yeah. Exotic. Exactly. Yeah. So it you know, hopefully y'all get that. Yeah, I think you know, so. I think I think, so. I think we I think we go a little deeper than just um, mm-hmm. you know, like in this one. Well, here's some good examples of southern stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Ritz get, gravy and John get, Wayne's mama. Bless your heart and you know, and Warren slap out. <laughs> anyway. All right, uh, yeah, let us know what you think in the comments below on YouTube. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Hopefully you guys dig this podcast and let us know what you think. And again, give us your you know, your slang or whatever from wherever you're from and uh, experience with Southernisms. <laughs> and, uh, and let us know what you think. So uh, if we're done, are we good? I think we're good. All right, well, we'll let it uh, fade to black. Man, this podcast warm me slap out. Warm me slap out. I swear to God. <laughs> Let me go stoke up that fire, get my damn feet warm. <laughs>